parents for choice, and we campaign for choice in pregnancy and childbirth. Our aim is to highlight the unique way the Eighth Amendment affects us as parents and on our families, whether we wish to continue a pregnancy or not. Parents for Choice oppose the Eighth Amendment and we reject the conservative Catholic ethos that inspired it. The Eighth Amendment and those who support it have had a toxic effect on how we and our families experience both wanted and unwanted pregnancies. It has negatively impacted how we are treated when we access maternity services and our maternity hospitals. The Eighth Amendment has resulted in the cruel treatment of countless women, from Sheila Hodgers to Savita Halapanavar to Miss C and Miss Y. As a result of the Eighth Amendment, women continue to be denied their choices every day in our hospitals. Parents for Choice are campaigning for progress, for our freedom to make choices in our own interests and that of our families and for humane and fair treatment for anyone experiencing pregnancy in Ireland. This recent decision by the state to grant complete ownership to the Sisters of Charity to our National Maternity Hospital, continuing decades of church ownership of our health care and other vital state-funded services, flies in the face of progress. Surely at this point, as a nation, we should improve, not regress. We should develop, not deteriorate. The Order of Nuns, the Sisters of Charity, who have been offered this hospital, ran Magdalen Laundries. They have refused to fulfil their promise to the State Redress Scheme for those incarcerated in those laundries, and they are highlighted as owing €3 million Euro to the Redress Scheme following the Ryan Report. It is a gesture of enormous disrespect to survivors of those institutions and to the people of Ireland that the perpetrators of this historical abuse against women and children should be given such authority in our maternity care. Many of us in Parents for Choice are unmarried mothers. Many of us in Parents for Choice gave birth in this hospital. It's not so long ago the women like us would have been locked up by this order of nuns. Religious orders like the Sisters of Charity imprisoned women like us, um, used them for profit while their babies were malnourished or stolen, or sold to the highest bidder, or ended up dead in septic tanks. And now our government wants to simply give them a hospital. A hospital for women like us to birth in. We say no. We may need a new national maternity hospital, but there is a better choice than this. While Simon Harris and Rona O'Mahony claim that the state will ensure the autonomy of the new hospital, even the former master of this hospital, Peter Boylan, has gone on the record to say he cannot see how a hospital will be able to provide, for example, IVF or medically advised abortions while owned by the sisters. If it does, it will be the only Catholic hospital in the world to do so. St. Vincent's Hospital does not permit performing vasectomies or female sterilisation because of its ethos, while the also Catholic-owned Matter Hospital will not even stock contraceptive pills for similar reasons. Yesterday, the Board of St. Vincent said that they're reviewing the status of the entire National Maternity Hospital project in the light of the Minister's statements and other controversy. It is very unclear what this means for the future of the hospital. None of this inspires confidence that we will get a national maternity hospital that will be the truly independent institution that we and our families deserve, even if we manage to remove the Eighth Amendment. A hospital that will offer us real choices and will ensure that in its care we're valued as human beings rather than just vessels for childbirth. We are parents. We are users of maternity services. We do not want our maternity hospitals owned by a group with such a history of how it has treated women and babies. For our children and for ourselves, we will take back our hospitals and we will take back control over our births and our bodies. Thank you.